if it's good for one branch of government, I'm sure it's good for all these branches of government. Governor Eddie Calvo is referring to Bill 222, a measure heard before the Guam legislature on Monday. The bill was introduced by Vice Speaker B.J. Cruz to prevent unclassified pay manipulation at the governor's office. I was very happy with the uh, testimony that was submitted by the uh, Attorney General. I was actually surprised uh, that we didn't get as many people to come and testify. We invited um, all of the government to, to show up. Currently, the governor and lieutenant governor can set salaries for positions in their offices. Bill 222 would ensure those salaries are paid in 26 equal installments instead of a single lump sum payment. It also prohibits the governor's unclassified staff from receiving bonus pay. And while no one from Adeloupe showed up, Governor Calvo did write to the vice speaker after the hearing, offering his set of recommendations and proposed amendments to the bill. But at the same time, you know, you look at what I believe is, is the, the policies of the other branches of government, including the legislature, that uh, if we're to focus on, on, on fairness and equity, on set policies, uh, if we're concerned about spikes in, in payouts, uh, then you should not only look at the executive branch, but also look at the legislative and judicial branch as well, because there are, those are other areas where there are bumps, and whether it's a bonus at judiciary or a lump sum in the legislature. The governor submitted four proposed amendments he hopes will create equity and fairness with regard to salaries to the unclassified employees. Cruz says he is open to another bill that would address and make that parity. Unfortunately, there has been no public hearing on those other provisions. I think all the unclassified employees can and should be given an opportunity to come and testify as to whether or not their, their leave can, uh, can and should be removed. Um, all the Adeloupe employees were given the opportunity to have a hearing. They chose not to show. In his letter, Calvo calls out the hypocrisy of the bill as it excludes the legislature and says, for example, quote, ignores spikes caused by legislative employees cashing out lump sum annual leave. He was a member of the legislature for more terms than I have. If he had wanted to make those changes, he could have done it during his term. Cruz adds the attorney general has only opined that retroactive raises given to 107 Adeloupe staffers last year was illegal. In the meantime, Governor Calvo says he hopes the vice speaker takes the amendments under consideration. But if the bill makes its way to his desk as is... I would assume that if they're only focusing on the executive branch, knowing full well on the policies and practices of the other branches of government, then it was all political and I would, pro I would veto it. On Monday, Cruz also met with the Office of Public Accountability, who he asked to conduct a performance audit on the retroactive raises at Adeloupe. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.